Hi everyone, so I thought I would do my unboxing video for my JSC mystery box because it just showed up today. So this is the Supreme one, this is the more expensive one. There's another one as well, that's the white one. Um, and that one's a little bit more cheaper, I think that's got like, I think it's $100. And then this one was £132 in Great British Pounds, I can't remember the price in US dollars though, but anyway... This is the box. I really, really love the packaging. It's so pretty. I hope everybody can hear me. If you can't, can you please tell me? Or if my sound cuts off, if you can just tell me, please, because last time it cut off and I don't want it to cut off again. So anyway, this is the JST Mystery Box, the Supreme Box. Hi. And um, I'm just going to open it now and let's see what's inside. I did already take the tape off, but I didn't look at anything inside yet because I had to go out. So I love the wrapping up paper. The colours might appear a little bit different because I do have a filter on. But if you want, I can take the filter off. It's fine. So this is everything in the box. First impressions. I can't believe that this is in here. I really wanted to get this ages ago. And I'm so happy that this is actually inside. Wait till people join, babe. I'm doing my live at such a stupid time as well. That's the thing. Like at three o'clock, I don't think anyone's even going to watch. So this is the nude set. I really love this. I wanted to get this ages ago. And I don't know why I just kept putting it off. But I can't believe that this is in here. I'm so happy that this is in here. And I really love it. So that's the first thing. If my sound cuts off, can someone tell me please? Or if you can't hear me. The next thing in here is the Jeffree Star Skin little paper envelope thingy um he's going to be launching that on the 2nd of the 25th i can't wait for that i'm actually really excited for that and the next thing oh my god is the top i love black i love black so much that's my favorite color so i'm so happy that this is in here let me open this can everyone hear me i hope you can hear me if my sound cuts off just let me know let me try and get into this right so this is the top that comes in here and I really like it oh my god thank you yeah please let me know if the sound cuts off because I'm so scared if it cuts off again so I got this in a medium I hope you can see it I'm not good at these videos guys I'm really not this is super big for a medium this is actually really big I love that logo look how pretty that looks I hope this filter is not you know changing much i know you can't really see the color properly let me just switch this off for a sec hold on yeah so this is in natural light just like the window light and then at the back it looks like this wow i really really like this i like this so much look at that it says heartbreaker on the back i really like it i'm gonna wear this probably as like a night shirt or something because i always go to bed and stuff like this so I'll probably wear this at night. So that's the second thing. The first thing was the nude lipsticks. Oh my gosh, look inside. It looks so cool. So what should we play with next? Um, let me go from here and I'll work my way up. So the next thing is the Jeffree Star Velour Lip Scrub. I've never tried this before. I really wanted to get one of these. But I wanted to get the watermelon one, I think it was. But I'm really excited. This is the grapefruit one. So this is what it looks like. I really love the packaging. I think it's so cute that is so cute okay i can't wait to try this out i'm not going to be doing swatches or anything guys because i need to literally leave at 305 so i'm trying to rush and do this a little bit but yeah that's the next thing the velour lip scrub and then the next thing we have in here is the magic star concealer in yellow so i've never tried his concealer formula before I'm really excited to try this out, if it comes out. Why is it not coming out for... Okay, it's because I've opened it the wrong way around. Okay, so this is in yellow. Oh my gosh, why would it come out? It's like stuck in there. Right, so this is the concealer in yellow. I really love the packaging. The packaging is so nice. He always kills it with his packaging though, so I'm not surprised. I can't wait to try this out. I think it's one of the colour correcting ones because it's a yellow one. But we got that. And then the next thing we got are five individual shadows. I don't really wear eyeshadow that much. So 
so I might sell these or I might do a giveaway or something and give these away but yeah these are really cute and I think you can buy a palette as well now and you can put all the individual shades in there as well so that's those you get five of those and I really like the packaging I think it's really cute next thing is the supreme gloss so I've never tried this before either and um, this is a full pigment lip gloss in the shade improper so let's open this if I can open it though right it's got like sellotape from there so this is the supreme gloss it's like a purple color I will just swatch it quickly. Ooh, okay, this applicator is so weird. Look how weird that applicator is. Wow, it's really pigmented and it's super creamy. I really like that shade as well. I probably wouldn't wear this color ever, but I've already swatched it now, so I can't give it away or anything. I'll just have to keep it. But that's the supreme gloss and then the next thing is another gloss i really love this packaging this is the what is it it's just called the gloss lip gloss i love the packaging though on this one if my sound cuts out can someone tell me please i hope you can still hear me right i'm opening it the wrong way again let me see can I open it? Wow, this packaging is so unique. I've never ever seen like a lid like this before. So this is another gloss. I really like this gloss actually. And let me just swatch it. Wow, this is so nice. Ignore the little lines. It's just a new product I'm testing out for Simi XO Cosmetics. This is it in natural light. It's really, really sparkly. Look at that. That's so pretty. I actually can't wait to use this. I'm really happy this was in here as well. So that's another gloss. And then what's next? This gloss. Um, which one is this one? Let me be perfectly clear. So this is a clear gloss, I'm assuming. Yeah. And I'm opening it the wrong way again. It's so hard to get into these. And I think because I'm wearing nails as well, it's even harder. So this is a clear gloss. Oh wow, I love the packaging. Look how cute that is. So just your everyday clear gloss. And I'm just going to swatch that. It's literally just a clear gloss, but it's very nice and creamy. I really like that. And I really love the packaging as well. I'm so happy I got this in here as well. If you can hear like background noises, it's just Maya. She's just messing around in the back. Right, next thing. Oh, I think this is the Heartbreakers palette. Not palette, highlighter. Oh, I don't want to ruin this paper. I'm sure it's that, isn't it? <gasps> yes, it is. Oh my gosh. Look at that packaging, it's so pretty. Let me just switch the light off again so you can see. Wow, I really love this packaging. Okay, let's get into it. What does it say here? Heartbreaker Skin Frost Highlighter Palette. Okay, let's open it up. I probably won't do any swatches, guys, because I need to take pictures of everything. So I probably won't do any swatches, but when I put the contact up on my feed i'll probably take the picture then oh my gosh this looks so pretty i mean how pretty is this wow i love it i actually love this i'm just gonna carefully take that off so you get three shades in here skin no single forever <laughs> murderous fun and frosty heart i really love them they're so pretty i can't wait to swatch these i'm not going to swatch it now because i don't want to ruin the pan but i will definitely swatch this when i put the content up on my feed
think my internet is kind of slowing down as well all of a sudden hope you guys can still hear and see everything okay so that was the heartbreaker highlighter palette let's just lock it up because i don't want to get this damaged or dirty so that's that And then next thing, oh my god, I'm really excited for this one because this is the Jeffree Star Ring Light. And I really, really was so excited for this. This is the main reason why I purchased this box in the first place because I just really wanted this ring light. I thought it was so cute. So let's get in here. So in here you get the instructions, obviously, and a cable to charge it. And then, oh my gosh, how cute is the ring light, though? It's so cute. I really, really like it. Yeah, this ring light and then the mirror is the main reason why I picked this box up in the first place because I really wanted these two. And obviously this just clips on your phone, so that's great. Love that. I actually can't wait to use it later on. So that's the ring light. My box did arrive damaged for some reason. I'm not sure why there's like a hole inside the box. I'm not sure why that's like that. But that's fine, I don't really care, because I'm just going to chuck the box away anyway. So yeah, that's the ring light. And then the next thing inside is, sorry, I'm just shoving everything anywhere. Um, let's look at this, the palette. Oh my gosh, there's still stuff down here. I thought we were finished, but we're not even finished yet. There's still more stuff. Right, next thing is the Orgy palette. Oh, I really don't want to damage that. Now, I... I might give this away, I'm not sure yet, because I don't really wear eyeshadow that often, but oh my gosh, this palette is so cool. Obviously the packaging is a little bit extreme, but I love this palette, it's really heavy, it's really weighted, let me open it up. I'm not going to do any swatches again because I just don't have time and I need to take content, so yeah, I'm just going to have to do without swatches for now. So this is the palette. I love the packaging. The packaging is so cool. And it's like got this 3D effect to it where Jeffrey is. And it feels really nice as well. So let's open this up. If I can open it. I don't want to drop it. Oh my god. So cool. You get so many nice nude shades. Let me just switch my ring light off. But yeah. Look at that. You get so many nice shades in here. So if you are a nude lover, then this palette is definitely for you. I might give this away or I might sell it because I probably wouldn't use this. But I really like this palette and I love the packaging as well. I think it's so cute. So that's the Orgy palette. I don't know where to put everything. There's so much stuff. And I just don't know where to put everything. Right, so the next thing. I didn't know that these were hiding in here. They were hiding at the side and I didn't realise. Next thing in here is the Velour Liquid Lipstick. I think this is a limited edition one in the shade Cutthroat Love. And I think this is limited edition. Okay. So let me swatch this. Wow, I love this shade. I really like this shade. And I love the packaging as well. I think it's really cute. Okay, let's swatch this. Wow, this colour is so pretty. Ignore the lines on my hand or on my arm. They're just swatches from something else. I love me some nudes. Yeah, definitely. I might give this palette away. I don't think I'd ever use it because I don't really wear eyeshadow that much. So I might give this away or I might sell it. Anyway, so that was the cutthroat lipstick. And then the next thing in here is a velour lip pencil in the shade Calabasas. So let me see if I can open this. It takes me some time to open things up, so you need to bear with me, because I've got nails on and I just can't do it sometimes. Right, I don't think I'm really going to get into this. Right, there we go. So this is a lip pencil. I've never tried his lip pencils before. Oh no, why is it like this? It's so hard to open things. Gosh. I think like half the video I've spent is just opening things and getting things open. Okay, there we go. 
so the jeffree star lip pencil i love the packaging again it really goes well with the gloss and let me swatch this so it's like a nude what is it a nude no it's like a pink isn't it it's like a bright neon pink it's super pigmented it's a very pretty color i really like this one and i think i'd actually use this as well because i do usually go for like pink um lip liners so that was that we got so much stuff it's everything's huddled around here if you've just joined i just opened this before the top and the glosses but i will save this um live on my feed as well so if you miss it then you can watch it back so we've got a velvet trap lipstick this is in the shade ranch girl i love the packaging i love how it opens oh my gosh it's actually really heavy as well so this is the lipstick i don't really support jeffrey but the palette is tempting yeah, I didn't support him either, like, after his whole controversy and all that crap, I didn't really support him either, but then I saw that he was doing his Valentine's Day boxes, and I thought I have to get one of these, because it's just too cute not to get. I don't want to swatch it. I want to swatch it, but I don't want to at the same time. Oh, I'm not going to swatch it, guys. I don't want to ruin it. It's a very pretty shade. Let me switch the ring light off so you can see. It's a really nice nude colour. And I love it, but I don't want to ruin it, so I'm not going to swatch it. I'm sorry, I just can't. Maybe I will soon when I try it out. But I love the um, packaging. I really, really like it. I think I'll probably get more of these in like different colours as well. Because I know that they're stocked in Beauty Bay website. I love the packaging. I love that he included this as well. So I got a little bit of everything. We got the glosses, lip liner. We got the Velvet Trap. We got the limited edition lipstick. What else did we get? We got the individual eyeshadows. So the last thing in here, which is the thing that obviously made me buy this box in the first place. This and the little ring light is the Heartbreaker Mirror. Don't swatch it until you take pics, okay? I won't swatch it. I love this mirror. I really, really like the mirror. And I love the box as well. Oh, I really don't think I'm going to be able to open this maybe i need to get a scissors hold on i really should have been prepared for this but let me see if i can open it up i will save this live on my profile because i know literally nobody's watching this and i think it's because of the time that i do them at i do them at such weird times right i think i can get into it right okay there we go finally so this is the Heartbreaker Mirror. It's so pretty. I really, really like it. And I love the colour. It has the Jeffree Star little logo at the bottom. Wow, it's actually quite heavy. It's actually quite weighted as well. I love it and it feels so nice. Oh my gosh, look at that. It feels so lovely and it looks so pretty. I actually used my pig one now. I don't know where I put it. Oh, here it is. It's literally right here. Because I just done my makeup earlier and i decorated my pig mirror with like jewels and stuff but i use this every day when i'm getting ready so now i've got another one this is my second um jsc mirror i don't really collect the mirrors because i have no space to put them obviously so i just if i like it then i'll get it sort of thing but i really really love this it's so cute right i think that's everything from the supreme box i think we've done everything um yeah so i paid 132 pounds in total for everything and i paid 30 pounds custom if i'm looking at just the price that i paid for the actual box itself i would say this is a hundred percent worth it you get so much stuff in here and i'm actually happy with everything the only thing that I probably won't ever use was that Supreme Gloss. I'm not sure where it's gone. Um, it's literally dropped. Yeah, I probably won't ever use this. Just because it's a purple and I don't go for purples. Um, and this palette. I probably won't ever use this palette either. But doesn't mean that it's not worth its money. I think it's 100% worth it for the price that I paid and the amount of stuff that you get in here. I mean, I got so much stuff in here. I'm actually shocked at how much stuff I got and for that price I think it's definitely worth it so if I think they're still available on his website as well so if you wanted to get one you could still probably get it they are still available 
but yeah I definitely think that it's worth it um let me know if you got the mystery boxes if you did get any and yeah I think that's everything I don't know if you want me to go over anything again I've got like five minutes if you want me to go over something again in here was the heartbreaker the new heartbreaker highlighter palette and I really, really love this. I think everything was just amazing in here. There's not a single thing that I, you know, hated or didn't want to get or didn't like. Everything in here was 100% worth it. And I can't wait to use all this stuff and get some more content done. So, yeah, I'm really excited for that. And, yeah, I think that's everything. I don't know if anyone wants me to go through anything again. But yeah, that's everything that came in the Supreme Mystery Box from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. And I'll see you guys later. I think that's everything. All right. Bye.